Shabbat Shalom, my precious brothers and sisters, and welcome to this week's service on the Sabbath. The sermon today is titled, The Secret. Be careful what you ask for. Our thoughts are powerful. We've got to be very cautious and very careful what we are putting out with our thoughts, what we are making manifest in our daily lives. There are good and evil forces within the universe today, along with the good that comes from the creator of the universe, Father God, Yahweh. There is darkness, there is evil in the universe as well. So our, our thoughts are so powerful. We got to be very, very careful, very careful where we are sending our thoughts to. Are we sending them to the creator of the universe, to Yahweh? Or are we giving power to the enemy? Let me take you very quickly. We are in the end days, and this is so very important. We have to go back to the book of Ephesians. We've got to stick to the living word. How powerful are your thoughts? Can you actually manifest things to happen in your life if you dwell on them? If you, if you focus your mind on being sick, on having disease in your body, or if you focus and you say to yourself, I am sick, I am in pain, I'm not going to get that job, I'm never going to get anywhere. Be careful of the things you're putting out there. Or are you like the book and the series, The Secret, are you putting out into the universe that God created? Though you're going to be wealthy, you're going to be rich, you're going to look in the mailbox and you're already going to know you are going to claim the universe. You're going to ask the universe and there will be a check in the mailbox. Be careful. It's dangerous. This is very dangerous. Like I said, there are forces in the universe. We only have two choices. We have good, the one who created the universe, the creator the living God. But in this universe that he created is a very evil, dark force. And if you are always focusing your attention, if your mind is so powerful that you are manifesting these things in your life, fear is one of them. Where are you going with your walk? Are you trusting in the creator of all living things, including this universe? And God in Yahweh, are you believing and having faith in him? Or are you focusing on the darkness of this world, of this universe, the evil? Forces you can't see, but are not of good, that are of evil. And are you empowering Satan in your life? Be careful where you go. The things you think about and the people you follow even. Are you letting fear overtake you rather than joy? From the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, King James Version Bible. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, this series that has been out for quite some time now, it is so dangerous, the secret. And they have a genie. Now we're getting into the occult. They have a genie. Your wish is my command. Your wish is my command. We're going to go to uh, their website. I want to share a few things with you to show you to stay clear of this type of uh, books, DVDs, tapes, audio tapes of the secret. There is no secret. I'm going to explain to you 
the secret is really no secret. You're giving power to the universe. You're asking the universe. Your wish is my command. You're manifesting this from the universe instead of giving God the glory. Instead of going to the Father because he is the creator of all, including the universe. Why are you thanking the universe? Why are you going to go focus your mind on the universe rather than the one that created the universe? Let me take you to... Um, very quickly, let me take you to uh, this website. I just want to share this with you. Then I want to take you to the living word, if I may. Now, this is the website for The Secret. And right off the bat, what do you have? Ask, believe, and receive. And they want you to ask the universe and believe, and you will receive. What do you put out in the universe? you will get back. There are some dark, dark, evil, demonic forces within the universe. And this is witchcraft. This is magic, black magic. Here we go. The magic right here. The magic, the power, the secret book, the secret film, the secret daily teachings, secret tools, world languages, secret stories, secret, secret well, let me tell you, there is no secret. God, Yahweh, is in control of all things. Here they want you to ask the universe when you should be asking the one that created the universe. Your wish is my command is what they're telling you. And they show uh, a genie. And that, again, is witchcraft. That is of the occult. We need to stay away from this. This is very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. I wanted to share that with you. The magic. Look at this. The magic. Ask, believe, and receive from what? force of the universe. There's only good and evil. There are good and that is of Yahweh. That is of God. What is your other option? Evil. The opposite of good. Evil. Dark. Demonic forces. Be careful what you ask for. You might just get it. Once again, your thoughts are so very powerful. Be careful what you make manifest in your whole life. Be very careful that you are not allowing the enemy, that you are not empowering the evil forces of this universe, the dark forces, but you are not giving power to Satan to take control of your life, your situation, your family. And your loved ones there is no secret go to the one who created the universe there are only two two choices good and evil light and darkness the creator or the destroyer be careful where you put your thoughts out be very careful there is no secret Go to the Father with faith and believe in his word because his word is true. He wants to bless you. He wants you to be well. He does not not want his children to be sick. He doesn't want you to perish. He wants you to come to him and ask him. Let me take you to Matthew 7, beginning at verse uh, 7. Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. This is the Creator. This is Yahweh. This is Father God. 
the creator of the universe. And he's telling you, come to me, ask me. And it will be given to you if you ask me. And believe and have faith, seek. And ye shall find, knock. And it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, knocketh it shall be opened. And verse 9, or what man is there of you, whom if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Ask him, believe have faith. You wonder why your prayers aren't being answered? You wonder why your healing hasn't come? You've got to have faith. You've got to claim this. You've got to manifest this good that the Father is doing for you without question. Don't question it. Accept it. Don't doubt. Don't doubt him. Don't doubt his power. And the things he wants to do for you, the changes he wants for you in your life. Stay away from your your thoughts on the fear, the negative things of this world, and fear that oh, you know, there's earthquakes coming, and you're putting that power out there. Your 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 mind is so powerful. Your thoughts are so powerful. Oh, there's you know, there's going to be an asteroid, there's going to be a big earthquake, it's going to hit California, and that's where you're empowering, you're empowering the devil, you're empowering Satan. When we are told to not have a spirit of fear, you, you want your healing in your life, in your marriage, but you won't claim it. Your thoughts are going to the universe, being made manifest to the universe to the darkness, to the dark forces that we don't see. And the enemy, you are giving him power, you're giving Satan power over your life so your marriage does not come back together, that you are not being made well because you won't claim this. You are focused and thinking of how sick you are, how much in pain you are, how bad you hurt, how bad your body is feeling today and your arthritis or your your emphysema or whatever your situation you're facing, whether it's even at work, financial situations. I apologize. The dog is back there and he's uh, uh, making noise. And I'm not going to allow this. I'm not going to focus on that. I'm not going to give life to this. Don't give life to fear of things that we know are going to come upon this whole world. Don't give life to that. You're giving the enemy power. Don't allow yourself to be drawn away by the universe so that you can't put your thoughts that are so powerful on the creator of all living things and on the bridegroom upon Jesus. That's where you should focus. No fear. Focus on him. Find your comfort in him. Find your peace in him. Rest in his peace, in his comfort. Let him be your Sabbath. Claim that healing today. Claim victory in Jesus today over your life over your marriage, over your children, over your family. Don't doubt. Don't question. And I need to be held accountable. I need to come on here and be corrected because I am not above you, any of you. I have made comments before that if it be his will for this healing, it has to be his will. Right there, you're already doubting him. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. It is his will. That's what you say. It is the Father's will that I be well. I claim this healing. I claim joy in my life. 
I claim happiness in my life. I claim peace in my life. And I find that with my Father. I find my comfort in Yeshua. I will not let fear enter in. I will not let fear enter in. I will not fear the things around me in this earthly realm, this material earth 3D. I am loved. I am greatly loved and I am protected. And he promised to keep me from wrath, from this time of trouble. I am healed in Jesus' name. My marriage is healed in Jesus' name. Yeshua. Happiness, joy, love, agape to all of you. In closing, I do want to thank those that have given. We're going to do announcements real quick. Join us. 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time over at Tiny Chat for our Tiny Chat Church Praise and Worship Music at 6.30. I want to cover one more time. I'm going to thank those that have given to our ministry for uh, November the 13th. I want to thank Monica, $88.34 to our homeless outreach. And our precious sister who heads our music ministry at our Tiny Chat Rapture Ready Church. Hop for $15 gift to our homeless ministry so we can feed and clothe the homeless. Clint, I do want to thank Clint for a precious gift of $40. And the person that sent the um, emergency emergency blankets, uh, Randy, I called you John. I want to make that. I want to stand corrected. Thank you, Randy. You feel glad to give to our ministry. The link will be below. There is no secret. Go to your Father and thank Him. Thank Him. Praise Him. Worship Him. Be careful of the things you ask for because you just might get it. I've been there. Done that. God bless you today.